That night, she gave up on her world to follow in the footsteps of her mother, to go to a place where the darkness couldn't reach her. I've lost my father. I can't lose you. You said it. I have blood on my hands. I didn't say that. You've done nothing wrong. Zimbal was right. Everyone will suffer. Zimbal is a fake. He is a hateful, bitter liar. He's poison. His words still haunt you. Who do you trust? Him? Or me? Do you still believe in Isenua? In us? Hardest battles are fought in the mind. He gave her the sword with which to fight in more ways than one. And she gave him her word, never to surrender. All she needed was a little help. A little hope. That was pretty heavy. Okay. Whoa. That was crazy. All right. Let's continue. This game has just been absolutely insane. You need us. Silence is lonely. We didn't know where you'd come. We're here now. Don't worry. You can trust us. Trust us. We won't leave you. Hello. Don't leave us. She needs us. She needs us. She needs our help. We found her. Here she is. We'll look after you. So before they were all sure. pessimistic as hell. Now they're all saying that they're gonna keep her safe. You're always safe with us. She has us. 
You've done so well, Senwa. So well. Listen, yeah. Senwa. Listen. You can do it. Come on, Senwa. Go away. I'm not listening. I guess now that I have the sword, it'll open for me. I'm afraid to see what's on the other side of this one. Into the mountains. Darkness is coming. I will tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf. Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafnir, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafnir hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon. Well then. I guess that's the... What the fuck? I was gonna say, I guess it's a source of dragons, but... Let's go. Oh, this isn't creepy at all. I kind of want to run that way, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Let's go. Great. says I will die if I go with them. They say you died already dead. No, I don't want you with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't Do you them. see them? Do you see their faces? He's coming! Senua! Help me! Help! Get me out of here! Don't go! She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She, she took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. 
her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father, said Belle. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it? The beast has been here. Everywhere. Good for me. Go, run. Quick, quick. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, shit. There's another light spot. Said exactly what I was just thinking. That I haven't found the freaking runes. Right, let's go to that one. Let's go, go, go. Fire. Must be near the room. again. Come on, Senua. Close to this one. Like this as well. There's another one over here. Right there. Okay. Let's go up the stairs on this side. Oh, geez. Okay. Symbols are pointless. This is such a crazy game. Alrighty. Hey, look, I can clip through. What? <laughs> no. Alright. You think you know, but you don't. Oh, that's what that was. Okay, so let's unbar this door real quick. Alright, I saw something over here, though. Rian the Dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rian would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. 
and so Rin reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rin go in search of Fafnir. Did I skip one? No. Okay, cool. That was the first one in this area then. Right? Yeah. I'm, I want to try not to skip any of those because I really do enjoy the stories. I enjoy the lore. God, this is fucking creepy. Okay, so on that way. Time to go this way. Got two directions to go here. Make that one direction. So let's go this way. Can I light these? Yes, I can. No, no, that's not what I'm trying to do. Come on, Tenua. Turn this way. Light this one. There you go. So that door's got to be something. That one's locked. Let's keep going. I was just about to say, I feel like I'm going back to the main hallway. That's where I came from originally, I think. Yep, there's a door. God, this is fucking creepy. Let's go this way. No, nothing. What? Let's light these. Every time I see one of these, I'm gonna light it. Can I do anything with this? No. Ah, uh, no. no. Didn't think so. Shit. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go that way. Wait, isn't that where I went last time? I think so. I see an unlit brazier though, so I'm gonna go like that. I don't. I don't. I, I don't trust not having light. So I'm gonna try to light everything I can. I doubt I can like that, can I? Nope, sure can. It's not where I want. Where go? Right here. This is where I need to go, I think. So I don't think I've been here yet. Son of a... You're an asshole. Get out of here. Fuck off. Oh, damn. That one was bright as fuck. Build focus, then. My question. She's scared. She's scared. Nobody cares. We can read her. Fucking evade, Senua. Oh my god, Senua. You're starting to get on my nerves, girl. I tell you to evade, and you just stand there like a bump on a log. There we go. More. Oh shit, didn't see that guy. They 
See what they're saying. The blood forms the sigil, the symbol, the rune. Yeah, first, I'm gonna light all of these. God, there's so many just bodies laying around. They're all flayed. So that's one. This place. There's two down. It reminds her of the isolating, suffocating darkness that she lived through as a young girl. Imprisoned in her room at night. The faces in the dark coming through the walls. She once thought everyone could see them. I mean, that's what children say all the time, isn't it? That there are monsters. In the dark. By the time she realized that only she could see them, her father, Zinbel, could see the monster in her. Oh, it never went up. I was okay, so I figured it out. I couldn't think of where the hell I hadn't been yet. I hadn't gone up yet. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Did I miss something? What? Let's go back. Oh, I did. Oh, it's right there. Duh. Idiot. the darkness that she's with the gods but what if they lied what if the darkness took her and trapped her here 